Hi guys, Jen Terrio from Warrior Rewild. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about my, my personal rewilding journey. Um, and one of the things I like to really kind of always remind people, and I have to always try to remind myself, I think sometimes it's hardest to even to hear our own wisdom or our own thoughts, but to listen to our own education. Um, but the importance of knowing and understanding that any sort of health journey, rewild journey, as we call it in this brand, um, it's not linear. And I know sometimes when we look at other people, that journey looks very linear. But in the in in the true human sense, you know, life has a lot of ups and downs. It has a lot of cycles, and we are cyclic and cyc we are cyclic beings. Right? We thrive in cycles. There, we have a twenty four hour ish day cycle that we biologically adhere to and a 365 day one as the um the earth circles the sun so i remember that also comes cycles of life and different times and fa phases of our life and you know i have been coaching off for years now uh been a nurse for 20 almost 26 years and i've been coaching for i don't know i should probably do the math but for years at this point and I've had hundreds of clients, and um, I can assure you that nobody's path is linear. And sometimes, with, especially with social media, we tend to think, well, that person, they got this one piece of advice, and now their whole life is perfect. The other thing is to know that sometimes just knowledge, well, always, just knowledge is not necessarily enough. There's a lot of other factors. So I've been on this immersive journey to understand how you optimize the human being and how we optimize the health, the wellness, the performance of humans, happiness, health, um, going beyond that current standard. I'm a conventionally trained nurse. I've had a conventional 26 year career. I'm in a conventional nurse practitioner program. Um, I have no problem having a solid foot in the conventional world. I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, but I also am about innovation, integration, and really understanding and challenging the status quo um, of the current paradigm of conventional medicine. And um, while I'm on this journey, man, I have done some serious damage the last couple of years to my own health and wellness, both my mental health and my physical health. And as I'm here trying to integrate all this knowledge that I have gone, I went from a few years ago really being in the best, but the best in my the the best um, health of my life, the best situation. I was, I was um, happy and healthy, and my body was strong, my mind was clear. And grad school has been a really hard for me. I've really fallen off my own wagon, right? I've stopped listening to my own my own stuff. And it's funny because I know that had I listened to all of the things that I teach, my cognitive skills would have been better. I would have performed academically better. I would have been able to handle the higher stress. But sometimes we just have to be soft with ourselves and know that I did, and I see it as a huge opportunity because I learned a lot about human psychology by watching myself. I gained well over 20 pounds. I all of I have ADHD that's I've never medicated with pharmaceuticals, not to this point, although I am considering using it as a bridge at some point. I do use herbal supplementation. But throughout my life, exercise and diet have been all what I needed to really get my brain to do what I needed it to do to to achieve the goals I was trying to achieve. And at some time during this grad program, I started to really see my symptoms of ADHD come through very, very strong. Um, and, had, you know, there's this one day I was like, am I having some sort of a cardiac issue? And I, you know, checked it out, made sure that I really wasn't and realized, wow, that's like, that's what anxiety feels like. That's wild. It's not what I thought it felt like. I didn't even realize, I didn't even see it in my own self. I could sit there, you know, I'm a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner student. I could sit there and have a conversation with somebody and identify um, anxiety in them. But for whatever reason, I couldn't identify it in my own self. So it's been quite a, quite a trip to see one, myself suffer with my own mental health um, over the last two years. And really understanding that part of the reason that I started to see those symptoms and suffering 
was that I, I allowed my habits and my lifestyle to degrade. And I started doing things that were considered very normal things. Like I would write a paper and be like, I just really need this bag of chips to get through. <laughs> and if you know me, that's why, that's crazy. Cause I'm not, I never would do that, but I'd make better options, better choices. There were no seed oils, they were baked, they were whatever. <laughs> but I was still eating my anxiety. <sighs> that's crazy to me. And I stopped exercising. I stopped cold plunging. You know, I stopped meditating. And uh, part of me wishes I could rewind but the other part of me doesn't. I'm so grateful to be in this situation. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I'm so grateful. I have 20 plus pounds. So I haven't really figured out exactly. I haven't gone on the scale lately, but I have over 20 pounds to lose. I have my fitness to regain. I have my mental health to reorganize. And um, I have some habits to reestablish. And I hope that as I move forward and I'm vulnerable and I share this with you, um, one, you can see that nothing's linear, that just having the knowledge is not enough, right? And I could tell and do walk people through this every day in both, in all aspects of my life, both as a nurse practitioner student, as a registered nurse, and as a coach. I'm always out there telling people what they should be doing. And yet I was sat back and I didn't do it for a little while. And I fell apart. You know, some people can, their bodies will, and their minds will, um, kind of balance out, mitigate the damage that's done, depending. But I'm somebody that has to work really hard. I have to work hard to have my cognition clear. I have to work hard to be articulate. I have to work hard to be to, to have a healthy body composition. My my genetic my particular combination of genetics really wants me to be miserable and sad and fat. Um, and again, I look at that with gratitude because that makes me a better coach and a better nurse practitioner in the long run, right? Because I can understand that it's not easy. It's a lot easier for some people and it's a lot harder for other people. And some things are easier for some people and some things are harder for other people. And, you know, really understanding that none of, although we, we're all living this human existence, the human existence is very, very different from person to person and phases in our lives. It was a little easier for me to be able to manage when I was working three 12 hour shifts and I had the rest of the week to do what I needed to do. But to be a, you know, a middle-aged woman with two children, a household to run, I'm a single woman running a household. I'm the only one bringing in, you know, the only adult bringing in income into the house. So I wasn't able to just do school. I have to be the breadwinner, be the mom, clean the house, cook the meals. And on top of going to a, a, a academically, um, challenging um, program. And I've do, been doing additional programs on top of my nurse practitioner program. I, I went and got my uh, certificate in applied quantum biology. And I've been doing some fun, really deep functional training studies, um, trying to understand functional medicine, quantum applied quantum med medicine, circadian medicine, metabolic psychiatry. Um, and piecing together and creating this method all at the same time. So it's been a lot. It's been a crazy couple of years. And I, I'm trying to be compassionate to myself, although sometimes I get really upset. Because it's hard, right? It's hard to stand up here and tell people what to do and then realize that you're not doing it and that you're failing <laughs> horribly because you can't organize your brain enough to get yourself to the, to the gym. Um, but I am back at the gym. And I am back in my backyard getting cold or in wild bodies of water getting cold, which is a lot easier in the fall in New England. Um, I have a sauna in my backyard now. I am cleaning up my diet. I'm doing a leptin protocol to really, and a, a kind of a hormonal protocol to get my leptin and insulin and thyroid all, all optimized. Um, and I'm gonna share all of that with you guys as we move forward. I'm gonna to try to be really, really open and honest. I'll have a whole playlist of videos that are dedicated just to sharing my protocols, my plans, my progress. Um, I'm gonna to try to be as vulnerable and honest as I can in these videos, as terrifying as that is. Um, I'm not quite ready to share any pictures, but once I make some progress, uh, we will do that. 
All right, guys, so that's it. That's enough for today, but we'll give a little bit more as we move forward. And as always, I wish you the best. Bye.